we can assume that the sampling distribution is normally distributed whenever we have a large sample, a sample size greater than 30. So in the case when the sample size is greater than 30, we can assume that the sampling distribution is normal. But when sigma is unknown, we're going to calculate the standard error of the mean with the standard deviation of the sample, sorry, the sample standard deviation, and when sigma is known, we're just going to use sigma. In either case, because n is large, we can assume the distribution is normal. When n is small, when n is less than 30, instead of the distribution being normal, we're going to assume that it has a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Let's talk more about the t distribution. The t distribution is very similar to the standard normal distribution. T scores are used in the exact same way that we use z scores. The major difference is in the shape of the t distribution. Depending on the degrees of freedom, the parameter used to define the t distribution, the t distribution is going to be flatter than normal distributions, and it's going to have slightly thicker tails. Here we see a picture of the normal, the standard normal distribution in blue on the outside there. And let's compare that to a t distribution with two degrees of freedom. We see that the t distribution is flatter over here. It's less peaked than the normal distribution. And instead of the weight of the distribution being up here in the center of the distribution, more of the weight is out here in the tails which means that with t distributions we assign uh, higher probabilities into these more extreme ranges into the tails than we would with the normal distribution. But look at what happens when we increase the degrees of freedom parameter. So pink is the curve where degrees of freedom is equal to 2. But as we increase degrees of freedom from 5 to 20 and higher, we see that the t distribution gets closer and closer to a normal distribution. What we find is that when the degrees of freedom approaches about 30, there is no discernible difference between the t distribution and the standard normal distribution.